What's cracking, Pete? It's your boy T Money up in the Heezy. Happy Friday. Hope everybody's had a good week. Uh, here just to do a quick little update. I have two packages that I'm going to unbox for ya. And then I've got one movie that came in the mail um, two days ago now. Haven't really gotten anything in the last couple days. So, um, yeah. And I just wanted to say also, so I had a lot of fun the other night. My buddy slash online acquaintance Michael Felcher from Red Shirt Pictures if you guys know um like pretty much the guy's done special features for like everything um he's basically like uh you know like a supplemental f supplemental features icon in the horror industry I mean he's done he's worked on like tons of Scream Factory releases tons of old school Anchor Bay he worked for Anchor Bay for years really really cool guy's name's Michael Felcher he did the creep show just desserts uh, Blu-ray that was released like a year or two ago now. Uh, he created that film. I think he did the whole thing. Um, so just an amazing dude. Anyway, he was having a auction, um, via Facebook for, I told a couple of my buddies about this. Um, but, uh, for a animal shelter that he volunteers at. So all the proceeds went to that. <clears throat> and, um, and yeah, so I don't need to talk about this too long, but I'm just look forward to, I guess, maybe next, probably in the next coming weeks, uh, I'm going to do a little unboxing of a couple of the items that I bid on and won. Uh, one of them was um, pretty awesome. Me and Sean Clark got into bidding war, so I don't know if you guys know Sean Clark from um, Horrors Hollowed Grounds on like the Scream Factory releases. Uh, seems like a cool dude. I don't know him personally, but uh, over one title in particular, and I can... I am proud to say that I won that bid, but uh, <laughs> it turns out he ended up getting the item for cheaper anyway, but uh, I'm a big supporter of animals. I love them. You know that for my videos. I have snakes and cats and all that good stuff, so uh, I was happy to pay an arm and a leg for that one title in particular, um, be it for the kitties. So anyway, Michael Felcher, I know you don't watch my videos, but uh, thank you for uh, a fun night, a fun auction. Uh, what was that? It was Wednesday night. So yes, and I will can't wait to show you guys what I got from that uh, in my video. So without further ado, let's get into tonight's. So I don't know what's going on with Disney, but I keep getting shit in the mail because I subscribed. I signed up for the five uh, Blu-rays of your choosing for a dollar each. And then I thought, correct me if I'm wrong, the stipulation was that you have to purchase, I think, five more movies in the next two years. Uh in order to get that deal. So I said, fine. Uh, then I started getting billed. Like I got cars one and cars three, uh, on Blu-ray in the mail. And I noticed I got a bill for like $45 for those movies. So after inquiring about it, it, you, it finds out, I found out that, uh, at the end of each month or each month, uh, Disney has a new featured title and you have to respond to them to, let them know whether or not you want it or else you're aut automatically be billed and you'll get the movies. So that's what happens with Cars 3. This month, I think, was Frozen. So I immediately got on and canceled that. Um, but then the other day, like uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, I got home from work and in the mailbox was this. Uh, Santa Claus, I guess the trilogy set. Uh, spit on there, sorry. Um, yeah, with Tim Allen. I mean, these are fun films, but... And then I saw that I like pr there was like a pre-order bill, so they haven't taken the money out of my account yet for thirty-five dollars for this. And I did not order this, so if anybody can cue me in on what the fuck is going on with Disney, because they're definitely scandy and they're definitely making purchases without my permission. But there's probably a loophole, like if you don't see the email they sent, because I thought I was on top of it after canceling Frozen, but apparently this is something else. Because I got this, and I've got $35 I need to pay them now for it. And of course, I'm a sucker, so I saw this, I was like, no way! There's no fucking way I'm opening it, I'm returning it, I didn't buy it, I don't want it. Ten minutes later, yeah. Why not? It's a great, you know. I love the first one, I don't even recall seeing the second two, but... Uh, it's a family favorite, so yes. I mean, I'm weak, and they know that. They're playing on my weakness, I know they are. Um, but if you guys know how to stop that, or how to, because... Aside from the one month feature title, I don't know what, how and why, because I really did not purchase that. So, um, yeah, let me know if you guys know how to stop that, those alerts or what in fact that is, because as far as I knew, there was only the one thing, but apparently that's something else. So done. Sorry. Let's get into this. So first up, we have a package from um, 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 Amazon.com. Nice. And I didn't know this came with a slippy dippy. 
really excited for this release. This is from MVD Visual, who I think they put out some amazing stuff. Um, and yeah, I've never seen this film. DOA, A Rite of Passage. Uh, let's open it up, see what we got. I actually didn't know what company. I thought maybe it was Cult Epics that was putting this out, but apparently it's just uh, MVD Visual. Um, and I will read you guys the synopsis right now. Special Collector's Edition. All right, DOA, A Rite of Passage, is the groundbreaking classic rockumentary about the origin of punk rock. Centered around the Sex Pistols 1978 tour of the United States, which ended with the group breaking up, the tour was the only... I'm sorry, the the only one the Sex Pistols played in the United States. Director Lake Kowalski followed the band with handheld cameras through the clubs and bars of their seven-city U.S. tour. Sorry. Uh, mixing this footage with other contemporary bands, trends in the fashion capitals, and punks of all shapes and colors. Kowalski captured a grainy, stained snapshot of the punk movement at its peak, which includes the now-famous footage of Sid Vicious and Nancy Spungen in bed along with rare interview and concert footage of the late 70s punk rock music scene, with live performances by the Sex Pistols, the Dead Boys Generation X, with Billy Idol, the Rich Kids, the X-Ray Specs, and Sham 69, along with additional music from The Clash and Iggy Pop. This iconic documentary is now available for the first time ever on disc. Yeah, so I really had no idea who was putting this out or what this film was about, um, but very cool. Very nice release, and we'll open it up here. You've got a really nice poster. Uh, looks like it's just the cover artwork on the that's featured right here on the slip cover, um, and then some cool interior artwork. And <laughs> it looks like a uh, what kind of disc does that look like? That artwork there, but um, you know what I mean. I, I'm drawing a blank on it, but just plain Jane. Um, and then you've got like some sort of, uh, what you, uh, comic type thing inside here. So really cool, really cool release. And I'm interested and curious to check it out. I do like punk. I'm more of a pussy pop punk kind of guy. That was just kind of my generation. So I love like MXPX, no effects, less than Jake. I love ska stuff. I mean, all that kind of stuff. That's a little bit more, not so raunchy and raw as like the sex pistols, but Hey, what can I say? My ears are suckers for pop punk but anyway this is cool i appreciate this looks like it's number one it says on the sleeve so i don't know if there's going to be like a series of these films that are getting put out but very cool and a pleasant surprise with that slip it's nice all right guys really excited for what's in here this is from uh, umbrella entertainment i believe and i'm pretty sure it's one of two things it's either suspiria uh it feels like two movies and um what's the other one um Silver Bullet, and if it's those two, then I'll talk about those, or, yeah, so it's, because I ordered two copies, I think this is two copies of Silver Bullet, and then Suspiria just shipped, because I got confirmation of a shipment from Umbrella yesterday for something else, so let's see what's, let's, let's go ahead and dive into this, uh, this bad Larry, as Deep Boogie 86 would say, I have to say, I got that from you, buddy, all right, so, be careful not to rip anything, Okay, so my apologies. Awesome. Wow. So this is not Silver Bullet. I had ordered uh, two copies of Silver Bullet, one for me and one for Lewis, um, for helping me out with the intro. Uh, and actually, there's going to be an updated intro in this video tonight, so by the time you're watching me talk now, you'll have already seen it. So comments below in terms of uh, let me know what you think of this, of the new one with the minor edits versus the original one that Lewis made. But shout out to you, buddy, and you will get, uh, I'm obviously going to do an unboxing when yours comes. But in tonight's package, we've got Orca. Really excited. I love this movie. I have the DVD, uh, but really excited to check it out in high def. Uh, just an awesome killer whale flick from 1977. So, it says Jaws with Heart, superb. The whale killer. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Uh, in terms of special features, there aren't many on this Moby Dick classic. Uh, we have audio commentary with film historian Lee Gambin and Moby Dick a la De Laurentiis. Uh, Martha De Laurentiis remembers Orca. So looks like a minor little 
thing. And what I love about Umbrella is they give you the option with a reversible slip a lot of time, or sleeve rather, uh, to get rid of that ugly um, ratings logo that's on the UK disc. So what I'm going to do, guys, and not all Umbrella releases do that uh, have the alternate option, but uh, most of the newer ones do. So just a heads up there if you guys didn't know that. Obviously, all you have to do is open it, and you would see. But yeah, so much better. Same cover without the uh, ratings logo. So awesome. Awesome possum. All right, guys, last up. Really excited for this. I love this film. I just recently showed you guys a media book I bought of it from 84 Entertainment uh, to Germany, I think. Uh, I, yeah. Um, and then I also have a uh, steel book that I cannot wait for. Diabolic just got him in stock, it looks like. So can't wait to get that bad boy. But in the meantime, I watched uh, Pizal, a buddy of mine on um, YouTube, acquaintance, I would say. I've, I've been following him for a while now. Um, he did an excellent review on this. I watch all of his stuff. He, I think he's one of the best uh, horror movie film reviewers out there. I just love I love his style, and it's, it's very informative so um, and fun at the same time. So check out Pizal if you guys haven't seen him. Uh, honestly, buddy, if you're watching this, this is the reason why you're the reason why I bought this edition. I was just going to stick with the Synapse one that I ordered, but being a tremendous fan of the film and being that your review claims claimed that this was an excellent release, um, I opted to get it. Uh, let's see. So, um, 40th anniversary edition brought to you by Umbrella. We have a high def 1080p, uh, and it'll be really interesting to compare this uh, transfer to the uh, Synapse transfer. Um, but on this, we have a high definition 1080p transfer sourced from a new 4K restoration of the film. Suspiria told by Dario Argento, an interview with Dario Argento and Nick Vivarelli on Suspiria's 40th anniversary. I wonder if the special features, too, are going to be different on this compared to the new Synapse release. Uh, we also have a 25th anniversary Suspiria documentary, an exclusive in interview, so that's, I'm assuming the exclusive interview is exclusive to this, uh, with Dario Argento, oh, from 2004. Uh, and then Fear at 400 Degrees, the Cine Excess of Suspiria documentary. An Eye for Horror documentary, Dario Argento's World of Horror documentary. Plenty of stuff. Image Gallery, Theatrical Trailers, Theatrical Trailers, TV Radio Spots, Argento Trailer Reel, which spans from 1970 to 2009. And yes, again, according to uh, Pizal's review, it's really the only... Um, review that I've read about this release, so I can't really comment on anybody else's, but, um, sorry guys, bear with me for a sec, these packages always get me, bitch to open them, oh, um, let's see, so yes, you do have your reversible cover art, artwork option again, as this is a umbrella release, um, see, yeah, they're the exact same, just one has the ratings, sucks, if you guys can see that, looks like something, some sort of staple or something, uh, right there in the middle. You can kind of see it. Jagged edge or whatever. It uh, creased the cover artwork, but what are you going to do? So, wow, and this is just a one disc release as well. There's no booklet or anything. Uh, you just have your um, classic artwork and then a one disc, one disker, but it is chalked with special features and. Um, you know, this is, this, this is definitely by far my favorite Argento film, so um, well, I'm happy to have, like, by when it's all said and done, I'll have, like, five different cuts of this film. One DVD and, like, three or four Blu-rays, so I am obviously a huge fan. I love it very, very, very much. Um, I'm sure most of you guys do, too. Uh, most people who are watching this channel are probably familiar with this film, so... Fantastic. Uh, maybe I'll do a review, a comparison, something like that. Something that I haven't done before once I get the uh, Suspiria one so I can compare and contrast the two. But All right, guys. Um, I'll catch you on the flip side. Have a great weekend. I might see you tomorrow depending on uh, what comes and what doesn't come. Um, otherwise, I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great night. Peace.